Okay, I want to show you a little bit about uh, kind of what we talked about with regard to categories in the K2 system. So some of you may have had a bug that appeared or what appeared to be a bug yesterday when we were going through the training of having multiple categories or if you deleted a category that it stayed there when you went back into the item. Um, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to replicate it so you can see what I did. And there's actually a cool little feature in K2 that is kind of a protective for content management, uh, a protective measure that uh, makes it so you don't accidentally delete a category that you didn't want to that had some items attached to it. Uh, just one little note here, you'll see a number right here by PTA or by minutes. Uh, that number, and these other ones have just zero, that indicates if there's an item or content article item that is associated with that category. So what I did is I created a new category called minutes and oops I created one that I no longer need. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the act, uh, the checkbox. Come up here I'm going to trash that. Uh, it gives me a little warning message. You're about to trash the selected categories, their chosen categories and all their included items. So I'm going to click OK here now that moves it over to trashed. So um, it, it appears to me that it's gone. I'm going to come back into the items up here. And now I'm going to go in and I need to change. I'm just going to show you the drop down here. I need to change December minutes uh, to a different category. Now when I drop this down, whoa, I see that other uh, category in there. The one that I just thought that I deleted. Well, let's back up for just a second. I'm going to cancel here. And I'm going to go back into the categories. Now it looks like right here there's a little drop down called has current written in there. And then there's one that has trashed. What this does is you'll notice that the only one that's in here that can be fully deleted up here in the right hand corner is the one that has open checkbox. So I know that I don't have any articles or items attached to that category. So I'm going to check that uh, checkbox right next to the category. I'm going to come up here and you can either restore it if you made a mistake and you had content items in there or you can go ahead and delete it and in this case I'm going to just click on delete and this will permanently delete that category and that's how you fix that problem so now when I go back to the items and I go into an item and I drop down I no longer see that basically orphaned category that we thought was a uh, problem so if you have any of those uh, you can just go into let me back up one more time. You can simply go into the categories and in this drop down box look at the trash bucket if you will and then if you want to go back you just click on current and these are your current categories in here. Um, I'll create another short video and I'm going to explain these master categories here uh, that I think will be a huge benefit for when you're adding new categories. I'll, I'll create another short video we'll get uh, for that purpose as well.